Other interesting culture news, Matt Walsh roasts a Native American who says they were never conquered. And also, the guy believes in gun control. Now, this is on X Twitter, of course. And this is originally from Lakota Man. Now, just a little bit of background on Mr. Lakota Man. He's a Native American who lives... What is it? He lives in Los Angeles? What does he describe himself? Not much. He's got, I think he got 531,000 followers. So it's not just a new profile created overnight. He's followed by Mark Hamill. So, politically speaking, most likely a leftist. Well, he is. Spoiler alert. And this is the guy who posts a lot about, here, hating Trump. And even more hilarious, hating guns. Which, he has a whole, I'm trying to find it here. But he's got a whole, he went on a whole rant about how guns are bad and no one needs an AR-15 and no one needs that. I repeat this. A Native American says you don't need guns. I want to say, I don't want to say they never read a history book. But Mr. Lakota Man has never read a history book. Because again, that's probably one of the prime examples of, yes, needing firearms to defend yourself from invading countries, that, invading armies. I mean, that's one of the primary reasons of guns throughout the eons. Yeah, you know, this person thinks, yeah, you don't need guns. Interesting. Now, let's see. He originally got, this got really viral. So, let's see here. Matt says, well, it originally started with Matt responding to Jesse saying, why are we not, why are we still allowing Indian reservations who benefits nobody, not America, not the Indian, Indians because the reservations are a nightmare of crime, drugs, and violence. There we go. The violence, example after example, has been proven this fact. Half conquest does not work. Either take a take a place or don't. Matt, res Matt Walsh responded saying, exactly correct. The whole thing is a farce. These things are stony societies where that were conquered 150 years ago. Time to move on. Which, I mean, the not really stone age. If you look from a technological perspective, like in terms of the resource allocation where they make, make, make their money, they are a technological marvel for the casinos. And again, I'm by my... My background is in IT, that's what I do for a living. And it is so impressive. Granted, they're not manufacturing the technology, but they're integrating the technology solutions into these casinos where they have more ca more cameras you can possibly fathom connected to more the amount of infrastructure and AI they're putting into detecting all the malicious actors when it goes to casino. It's almost like a sci-fi novel. Now, the Lakota man responded saying, sorry, Matt, you didn't conquer a effing thing. We natives had no natural immunity against disgusting diseases like smallpox that your dirty ancestors brought here back from Europe. We, the Lakota, banned that puppy-killing colonizer, Christy Nome, from our land. And there's absolutely nothing you or any white, trashy white man can do about it. Unquote. Which, again, I don't say it's, he's racist, but yeah, calling, calling someone white, trashy, yeah. But again, that's the one kind of racist you're allowed to be in the United States these days, culturally speaking. You know, so obviously disgusting. Now, Matt responded saying, quote, your ancestors, our word, and again, I try, I try to keep this moderately family friendly, the R word being taken advantage of someone in an adult way. So let me reset that real quick. Matt Walsh says, quote, your ancestors, our word, enslaved, tortured, and pillaged each other as a matter of, of course, and were conquered by people far more advanced by every quantifiable metric. Your ancestors hadn't even invented a written language, let alone any conception of basic human rights. They were living about 5,000 years behind the rest of the world, and if they hadn't been vanquished, you wouldn't have had a phone you're using to whine at me on right now, or any of the things that make your life comfortable and you enjoy. You would not want to live in a, in a world where your ancestors won the war despite what you claim now, while basking in luxuries and comforts given to you by people you despise." Unquote. Which. They also didn't have the wheel either, or advanced firearm technology, which that was kind of detrimental not to have those types of things. Again, it went viral, got 6.4 million views and 43,000 likes. Now, one of the first comments comes from John Hawkins saying, quote, every worthwhile inch of land on this entire planet has violently, violently been taken from one group to, from another group, usually over and over again. We conquered people by conquering other people and so on and so forth since the beginning of time, unquote. They got 4.3 thousand likes, which, again, Native Americans also do that with each other. They conquer land, and they, I mean, that's, it's been around since quite literally the dawn of time. 
Jack Posto says, we these people added again. Getting 3.4 thousand likes, which... Let me in the comments, let me know what that is. I need to go on the Urban Dictionary, maybe. Wheelies. I mean, I remember when I was a kid, the Razor Scooter was the thing you would do a wheelie on. I don't suspect that's what they're talking about, though. Cooking with Salmonella says, Matt just sang with all the voices of the mountain and painting with all the colors of the wind. Getting 1.7 thousand likes. Ethos says, quote, What's fascinating to me about his line of reasoning here is that he doesn't even consider the fact that Native Americans also had diseases that Europeans had no immunity to. Germ warfare didn't exist because germ theory didn't even exist yet. Unquote. Getting 4.1 thousand likes. Antonio says, have the, uh, and I don't intentionally mean to butcher this, but I'm going to have the Ogala, Oglala, Oglala, Lakota acknowledge that the lands that they're conquered from, oh yeah, I, I can't, I, I, I can do this, let's see. Have the Oglala, Lakota acknowledge the lands they conquered from Cheyenne, Crow, Kiowa, and Pawnee tribes, unquote, gain 1.1 thousand likes. Benjamin Jor says, we pretend that Indian, Indians were harmless innocents frolicking in the Garden of Eden before the white man arrived, when actually they were just human beings doing unspeakable horrific things to each other, like we've always done in the history of man is conquered or be conquered. I'm quoting 1.7 thousand likes. California Kid says, people under the impression that the Indians were holding hands and having powwows and smoking peace pipes right before the white man came. Funny. We got 2.2 thousand likes. So, so far, Cat Walsh is being pretty much 100% vindicated. It's gotta be some contrarian statement, though. It's gotta be, right? Dave Smith says, same concept. And it's a picture of the OG. The original, I believe they call it, the youth called that the original gangster of Clint Eastwood. And he says, well, this is text, I don't think he actually said it. But the text above the picture of him says, listen, listen up, Snowflake, and let this sink in. I never owned any slaves, and you have never picked any cotton. Here ends the lesson, I don't owe you crap. Getting 3.4 thousand likes. Can you hear? Dave the Meme Smith said, D Dave the Meme Smith, again, I sometimes can't pronounce things. I have a theory. If you take this time to subscribe, it may very well, may help with my speaking in aptitudes. When I first started the show, I had brilliant subscribers. Believe it or not, I spoke in a monotone, way too fast. Yes, even faster than I speak now. And I stumble over my words and mispronounce a lot of things. However, as I've gained slowly but surely more subscribers, that speaking has slowly but surely improved. So my theory is, the more people that will click that button, or click the like button, that would help too, maybe, the better my speaking acumen will become. Some might argue it's just been a modicum of improvement, but I would argue an improvement, nevertheless. So, again, if you could kindly click that like button, subscribe, and do all those great things, I would greatly appreciate it. Now, back to my attempt at speaking the English language, Dave the Meme Smith says, quote, Can't make it any more simple than that. And you have a group of natives that are... Taking the heart, taking the heart out of someone, and uh, human sacrificing someone, it says, "Oh, look! Here comes the far right." And this picture in another comic has a bunch of missionaries. She looks scared and horrified. I got seven point seven thousand likes. Idaho boat guy simply says, "LL, awesome game." Thirteen likes. Let's see. Now we're getting more, fewer and fewer. We're getting a lot of comments, but these are getting between zero and one like. Let's see here. Joshua Lander says, uh, Europeans engaged in the exact same practices. I know you would like to pretend we didn't, but we did, mostly for religious reasons. Finally, a contrarian statement. Getting four likes. I to scroll a little bit, or quite some time, actually. I should get there. Hmm. So, overall, completely ratioed in Matt Walsh's favor. So, if anything, as some might say, he's vindicated. So, again, the guy said he was in Concord, and again, I looked at his profile, the thing that blew my mind the most was, I mean, technically they were. It, it, fascinatingly enough, it's one of the only times in history, let me know differently in the comments if you've seen any instances, where a Concord people got some of their land back and a lot of benefits in terms of, you know, a lot of healthcare benefits and not paying taxes. I don't know any time in human history where that has actually happened, where Concord people got all those benefits back. If, again, if you have, let me know in the comments. I'd be fascinated to read up on any sources you have. And out of curiosity, what are your thoughts on this entire situation? As always, I'd be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment. It's a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. 
Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your co-workers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone, just stay safe, fight the good fight.